Some of the content that I put out it talked a lot about things I've done to the, the trike since I bought it uh, in July. Like I said, I had around 200 miles. Now I'm a little over 200. Typically ride 10 to 15 miles a day. Uh, some of the comments uh, on my posts have been about um, how long do the batteries last? And um, I'm going to say this. Uh, it depends on the rider. Um, I'm training and trying to get my heart strong. I had a heart attack about three years ago and I'm in recovery mode and I'll always be in recovery mode. Uh, the damage that I've done to my heart uh, um, is going to be with me a while, forever. Uh, but I am getting stronger and I'm doing it with this and I go to the gym quite often, almost every day. And I do a lot of cardiac uh, um, rehabilitation. This is part of that. Now, that being said, this is about working out and getting in shape. So I'm riding the trike um, to build endurance and have fun while I'm doing it. Um, so um, if you're using a level of, a e level assist five, you're not gonna get much of a workout because this thing will do it all for you as long as you're moving the pedals, but you don't have to put much effort into it. All you got to do is turn them. You don't even have to put any force into it at level five. And it's and it's adjusted to speed increments. So level five is going a lot quicker than level one. So you have to put the same amount of effort into every effort that the battery, uh, the, the controller will do for you. So what I typically do when I'm riding, to give you an idea how long the battery is going to last, is I'm in one and zero. So... Or I'll be in zero with the computer left on and only using the throttle to uh, assist me. Meaning I only hit the throttle when I need a little bit of help and then I just let it off and I'm back on my own power. So when I'm doing that mode, I don't know how long the battery will last because I haven't even get close to 50% on the battery and I'm staying out two to three hours sometimes. So, it depends. If you use a lot of battery to help you ride this thing, it probably won't last as long. But me as a Terratrike charge owner in level one and zero, I think I could ride this thing all day and do 30, 40 miles on it. Um, I haven't done more than uh, 15 miles in one stint and I've came back with 60% of my battery and near triple digit weather, meaning it's almost 100 degrees. It's uh, now uh, fall. Uh, today's uh, Tuesday. Um, Sunday was the beginning of fall. Uh, the temperatures are starting to drop a little bit, so it's in the lower mid-60s in the morning. And by noon, it'll get hot again, uh, up in the 90s. But um, I think heat will p play a, a range of problems on the battery a little bit. It depends on how hard you ride, how much you use the battery, and how long you ride. I'll do more uh, comments uh, and content on battery uses as I ride it more. I'm fairly new to the trike. Um, I'm going to do a long time review on the trike, so stick with me on that. The birds are talking to me this morning. Um, one thing that I, uh, talking about the battery and the controller, um, an issue that I did run into this morning on my ride is I didn't do any uh, GoPro or videoing uh, on my rides this morning. Um, I just wanted to go ride. I didn't want to do any content. But I did run into a problem. I wished I would have been doing content because my computer locked up on me. It, and meaning, it wasn't registering my speed or the birds is quacking at me like crazy. Uh, it wasn't registering my speed or my um, level of effort. Uh, it wasn't telling me anything. It just showed zero on speed and I was doing at least 15 miles an hour. So I couldn't turn the computer off. Um, so I cut my ride short. I turned around and came home. And uh, it stayed in level one assist, but it wasn't giving me any telemetry data on what I was doing. 
So I was a little worried that I had a computer failure. So like all things, when you get a black screen or a stuck screen on computers, what I did is when I turned home to the garage, I um, couldn't turn it off at the switch. It wouldn't do anything. None of the buttons were working. It's just locked up, but it was locked on. Um, so I uh, got my key out and there's a key on the battery down here on the side of the trike. You turn the key and then you move the battery forward and it disconnects the battery from the system and which shut down the computer because it lost battery power. Plugged it back in and the computer reset and I did a reboot and everything's working again. So it was a battery computer glitch. I don't know. I'll track that for you. I will report it to TerraTrike and um, directly to WizWheels and let them know I had an issue. Um, it seems to be working fine, but all my electronics uh, computer devices do that. So I'm not real alarmed right now. I could have took a jolt on the road. Who knows? I'll track it. I'll let you know if it becomes a more of an issue. Uh, I will talk to WizWheels and tell you what they tell me. Talking about that, New Mexico is a small state. Our population is probably less than the population of Denver by itself, Colorado. So New Mexico doesn't have that many people. I think we're one of the least populated states in the continental United States. Uh, there's no Terra Trike dealer in New Mexico that I know of. Uh, the closest one, I think, is um, Phoenix, Arizona, which is about six, seven hours from here. I live in Las Cruces, New Mexico. So what I did is I did a lot of YouTube uh, research on the trikes. I looked at Azub, I looked at ICE, I looked at CAT, um, I looked at all the European, the really nice trikes. Um, and I got attracted to Terra Trike because one, they got a lot of YouTube content out there. And I watch a lot of laid bike back cycles with a guy named Mickey. He does a lot of Terra Trike, uh, Green Speed, cat ice he does all these videos they do a lot of maintenance videos uh the guy's just a wealth of he's a, he's a major youtube hitter on content for these trikes so i i watched him a lot when it came time to do my buying i decided what i wanted which was the tear trike charge and um i did some shopping and um, I reached out to WizWheels out of Grand Rapids Mission because they're the manufacturer of this trike. And they sell direct to the public as well to all their dealers across the United States. And I wanted to know how my support would be if I bought this trike if I didn't have a dealer close to me. So they committed to me that they would um, help me with all technical issues that I had. And I've been doing that, working directly with their tech guy there at the factory of uh, tech support, outstanding people. I worked with Lori Whistle. She's the uh, sales manager for WizWheels. Um, and that's um, out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I negotiated a deal to have it shipped directly to New Mexico. I am a retired military um, U.S. Air Force uh, enlisted uh, master sergeant, um, retired many years ago, um, and they honored me a military discount, which basically covered my shipping. Um, from what I understand from Lori Whistle is that, at WizWheels, is that they have a deal with FedEx as they ship anywhere for about 300 bucks, $299 in the lower continental United States. It showed up in a box. It has built-in ramps. You pull the ramps out and turn them around, put them back in, and you simply roll the bike out of the box. And then they ask you to store the box for about 90 days in case you have to do any returns. Um, FedEx delivered it to my house, um, no hassles. They helped me unload it. And um, you wanna check your trike for damage. So the trike was about 33 hundred dollars plus some change. I had some additions added on 
from Whiz Wheels, the headrest. I got some bags from them. They mounted, um, they did not mount anything and they just ship it with the trike. I put everything else on. Um, now when it comes to maintenance on this thing, I'm a retired senior mechanic from the Air Force and have been doing maintenance many, many years. That doesn't make me a bike mechanic or a trike mechanic. I was a jet engine mechanic, gas turbines, uh, hydraulics, diesels. I know a lot about mechanics, but trikes and bikes are an art all by themselves. You have to have special tools to do special things, but I can do minor maintenance. I can replace a chain. I can do tubes and tires. And um, I'm not a computer whiz, but I got the basic understanding. So I'm not afraid of doing my own maintenance, but say I did have to do maintenance. Uh, what Terra Trike offers is, uh, or tells you to do is, is go to a local reputable dealer of bikes and most bike shops will work on your trike to do flats to do uh, derailleur chain issues uh, tune your derailleur uh, if you want new fenders they'll help you put on new fenders um, they'll do all that kind of stuff for you they may not want to mess with the battery of the electronics at that point i'll be if i need to do that i'll either take it to phoenix or I'll ship the components directly to Wizwill, and um, they have a really good warranty for these trikes, so um, I'm not worried about it, and I wouldn't be if I were you. Find a good bike shop that has good ratings and work with that bike shop. They'll probably do just about anything you need done for this trike if you need maintenance. I hope all this helped. I'll continue to do posts on my rides and any questions and comments coming from you about the trike and give you updates about the battery life as, as I ride the trike. Have a nice day.